guys welcome to your love reading this is going to be for gemini for your july 2023 you can apply this to your sun moon rising venus signs what are your blocks and challenges in love so we're going to take a look and see what that is okay and then we'll finish off three to see what else you guys need to know look out for work on so apply this to your own unique, uh, unique situation keep in mind that these are general messages Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your own placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, um, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about uh, Gemini. Tell me about Gemini here. What is going on with Gemini? What is going on with Gemini? What are Gemini's blocks and challenges in love? What are Gemini's blocks and challenges in love for July 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. What are Gemini's blocks and challenges in love? Okay. We have the Eight of Swords here in Judgment. I don't know. You know, that's really strange for, you know, a Gemini, but every Gemini is different, but there is a fear of change here. There is a fear of acceptance. There's a fear of closing things out. Yeah. So, you know, I just feel like maybe Gemini, you might have a hard time letting go. Yeah, you might have a hard time ending things here. Uh, judgment, Sagittarius energy. Um, keep in mind when I do these types of readings, it's more so for your personal growth and your spiritual growth and your healing. Uh, but you can apply this to someone that you know, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, there's a great fear of ending some things here. This is so interesting. I feel like it's a trauma from your childhood here. Yeah, I, I just feel like maybe you watched your, you know, parents break up and, you know, one of your parents wanted to leave and then the other parent, the other parent was like, no. So it's almost like, you know, that trauma has been ingrained in you. So anytime there's some sort of breakup or an ending here, you know, I just feel like you have a hard time with it. But, you know, I feel like it's happening for a reason. You know, it's happening for you because... You know, it's a sign that the person that you were dealing with, you're not really meant to be with that person. And when you resist that change, you know, you hinder your, um, you hinder the blessing that the blessings that are meant to come into your life. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Emperor Aries energy here. And we have the Page of Cups here in the Page of Swords. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. You have siblings here, maybe. You, you might have another sibling here. So I feel like you and your sibling might go through the same thing or have that same trauma here. Okay. Um, let's see. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Eight of Swords. We have the Two of Swords. Judgment. And the Eight of Pentacles here. This is something that you've been actively working so hard on. Just being able to accept. Just being able to close the door on, on things here. Yeah, because I feel like you still have doors open that are not closed yet, that have been closed for a long time. Eight plus two is 10. There's definitely some deep pain. There's some deep hurt that you've experienced here. Yeah, multiple times. Tell me about the King, Knight of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles here, the Emperor and the Seven of Cups. You know, the grief that you're dealing with here too, is, I feel like it's it's one of the, it's a the grief, it's unprocessed grief from one of your parents here too. It has to do with abandonment issues. Yeah, it has to do with abandonment issues. The Five of Pentacles here and the Seven of Cups. You know, one of the things I'm getting is I feel like there is definitely some sort of confusion or you get confused about, you know, these things here and you don't just don't quite know what to do. And when that happens, you check in with yourself. Yeah, drop in and ask yourself, what do you do in this situation here? You know, because sometimes a lot of times the answers that you seek are actually, it does come from within you. So if you could 
drop in and ask yourself this, yeah, you'll get the answers. You'll get the answers here with the Ace of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Death card here, Scorpio Energy. You know, I feel like someone here needs to learn that endings happen for a reason here. I feel like someone here doesn't ha handle, you know, not that everyone does. You know, someone here doesn't handle death really well either. Yeah, someone here doesn't handle, like, handle death really well. And, and that's a difficult thing. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's something that has really kind of like, been a kind of like a fascinating topic for the human race here because um, death is just really different for everybody. Uh, the way that people handle it, the way that people, you know, see it. Um, but, you know, it, you know, death is not an easy thing to handle. So I, I you know, I, I just feel like, you know, uh, people deal with it in different ways. But I just feel like something here just doesn't handle change really well. Um, let's see. What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, work on here for... Um, July 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs when it comes to their blocks and challenges here for Gemini, for Gemini. The Sun, Leo energy and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? I do feel like, you know, when you accept the whole, the weight of the world, you know, is lifted up, lifted, up, lifted off your shoulders here. So I feel like, you know, if you continue to work on it, you're de you'll, you'll definitely find happiness and bliss here. You, you'll definitely become more grounded here too, because I feel like you're, you could be in your head a lot here, Gemini, okay? Page of Wands and the Three of Wands. I do feel like someone here needs to work on their inner child here too. There's some wound in, 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 in their inner child here because I almost get the sense that someone here watched their parents fight all the time. There, it could have been violent here, you know, just like these things about, you know, your, one of your parents try to break up with the other one. So I feel like, you know, there's a lot of unprocessed stuff here for you, Gemini. King of Wands here and the Moon. Cancer Pisces here. Keep in mind, in life, we have to experience the darkness. We have to face the darkness in order for us to experience the light. And I feel like this is what you're trying to do here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Sun of Pentacles, and the Sun, Queen of Pentacles here, and the Three of Cups. Also find people that could support you. Yeah, your soul tribe here. Yeah, I just feel like it's almost a sense of you just don't want to waste any more time. You just want to invest more in your happiness here than actually holding on to things and not closing the door on things here. Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands, Three of Wands and Temperance here. One of the things I'm getting is I feel like, uh, you know, a lot of things maybe that you've experienced in your life, you're blaming yourself on it, for it. And it's really important to forgive yourself. Yeah, to forgive yourself so that you could actually close the door on these chapters here. Uh, Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles here. I mean, you could be dealing with a relationship right now that you know, you're know you definitely having some sort of issues here with. But I do feel like if you're dealing with a relationship right now, I do feel like the relationship can improve here if you focus on working on yourself here or working on this. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.